Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I've got another in my series of uh, round robin series between bad teams from the past and good teams from the past. And today, today's matchup is going to be the 1975 Detroit Tigers against the 1989 Kansas City Royals. And the 1975 Tigers were 57 and 102. So they certainly qualify as being a bad team from the past. And the Royals, who did not win their division, still managed to not win their division with a 92 and 70 record. And so they will be the team that they will be facing the 75 Tiger team. So we got a divisional matchup. Um, the lineups, I will, you'll hear them as I go through them, but I'll put them up on the screen as I usually do for game one. And uh, the pitchers today will be first off for the Kansas City Royals pitching to the Tigers who are going to bat first will be Mark Gubiza, and he will be faced by Mickey Lolich of the 75 Tigers. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. We got Ron LaFleur leading off against Gubiza, and he gets a 1-5, which is a single, and LaFleur can steal, and you would think that they're going to probably have to consider doing that. He's a stealing A. So he will try to steal second. And that's a 15. He could be out because, in fact, he is. Because there are, at least in the, uh, in the basic game, every catcher has a negative arm. And an A is only a 1 to 15 anyway. So he does get caught stealing. And that is going to hurt the Tigers a little bit. Leon Roberts is up next. He's a 1 6, which is a strikeout. So Gubiza strikes out Leon Roberts, and now we have Ben Ogilvy up, who later went on to play for the Milwaukee Brewers, the World Series appearing Milwaukee Brewers. And that is a 6-6, six, six, which is a fly ball to left field, and Ogilvy is out. So the Tigers get nothing there, not helped by the fact that LaFleur was thrown out trying to steal. And that will bring up Kansas City. So the Royals come up. Willie Wilson leading off for them. He gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. Lolich with the uh, K on the first batter. Jim Eisenreich is up next. He gets a 5-5 on Lolich, which is a strikeout. So Lolich Ks the first two guys he, meet, he uh, faces. And George Brett's up playing first base today. 6-7 is a single. So... George Brett gets a hit and gets a board. And that's a hit allowed for Lolich, first of the game. First base runner for the Royals. And Bo Jackson's up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a fly ball to right field, and Kansas City goes 1-2-3. Bo knows. He knows he's going to be out on that. So we go to the... Top of the second, Detroit up. Willie Horton up the DH. He gets a 1-3, which is a pop out to second. Gary Sutherland is up. He gets a 6-8, which is a single. So Gary Sutherland gets on. He's a stealing E, so no, they're not even going to bother with him. Second hit allowed by Gubiza and Tom Verizer's up. He gets a 1-3, which is a ground ball B, two away. And Aurelio Rodriguez is up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to short into a double play. Detroit gets nothing there. In fact, I don't even, I'm not sure if that was a double play or not, but anyway, even if it uh, wasn't, it was the final out. So, Kansas City coming up. 
Kevin Elka Seitzer, he gets a 411, which is a fly ball to left field X. The left fielder is Ben Ogilvy, and he was a four this particular year in left field. And that's a three. That might be an out. And it is. Ben Ogilvy makes the play. There's one down. Danny Tartable's up. Oh. Okay. He gets a 312, which is a strikeout. That was a column full of walks, but didn't come through there. And that's the third strikeout for Lolich. And Bob Boone is up the catcher. 5 8. That'll be a single one to 18. No, yes, yes, single one to 18. And that is, we're already, yeah, okay. So, uh, and that actually is a single. So, with, I believe, two outs, right? Yes, two outs. There is a man at first. And up steps Frank White, the second baseman. He gets a 5-5, and that's a strikeout. So Kansas City goes down there. No runs come across for Kansas City. We go to the top of the third in a scoreless game between the 89 Kansas City Royals and the 75 Tigers. Danny Meyer up for the 75 Tigers. He gets a uh, three seven, which is a ground ball to first base, and he's out. Meyer playing first base today for the Tigers, and that brings up Bill Freehand, the catcher. He gets a one eight, which is a ground ball to third, and so he's out. And that brings up Ron Lafleur, who got on last time but was out stealing four six, is a strikeout. Only the second strikeout there for Gubaza. But no runs come across for the Tigers. We go to the bottom of the third. Danny Tartable up for the Royals. He gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman is a 3. And that's a 5, so 5 and a 3 at second is an out. And one away. And that was Kirk Stilwell. So up steps Willie Wilson, back to the top of the order, and he gets a 3-5, which is a single. And we know Willie Wilson can run. Second hit allowed by Lolich, and he is an A, so yes, he will try to steal. And that's a 15, and again, he's gone two, two away. Because as we explained, an A stealing is a 1-15, to and in the uh, basic game... Any, every catcher has a negative arm, even a four or a five. So Jim Eisenreich is up, and he gets a five eight, which is a single one two eighteen, and that is a single. So Eisenreich gets a board. Kansas City would have had something going here if they hadn't tried to steal, but Lolich is on top of his game at least so far, and George Brett's up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball third base. And he is out. And so is Kansas City. And they go down. We go to the top of the fourth. Still in a scoreless tie. And Detroit is up at the plate with Leon Roberts. And he gets a 4-9, which is a single. Leon Roberts is aboard. He's a stealing D. He'll stay right where he is. Ben Ogilvy's up. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Gubza. One away for the Tigers with a man at first. Willie Horton up. 1-7 is a ground ball double play to the third baseman. So Kansas City is out of the inning. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Still scoreless here. This 89 Kansas City team you would think was a lot better than the Detroit team. And as I noticed when I was going through and prepping for this series, 
the Kansas City Royals don't have too many like full year starters with 200 innings. Plus, it was a lot of it looked like uh, spot starters and bullpen by committee. So, um, Gubaza is one of their few like stretch, you know, um, wire to wire starting pitchers. So Bo Jackson will lead off for the Royals here. This is a 6-5, and it's a double, just a plain double. He rips the double. Bo Jackson with the fourth hit. Elka Seitzer, Tevin Seitzer is up. He gets a two-dine, which is a fly ball center field. So he's out. Tartable comes up to the plate. Man at second, one away. He gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. And Kansas City is choking on a chicken bone right here. With Bob Boone up at the plate. That's a 5-9. That's a ground ball to short. That's Verizer. Verizer is a 3. That's a 16. Let's see what that is. That is going to be an out with no runner. So it is there out of the inning. And they don't score again. And that was Bob Boone. So we're going to the top of the fifth in a still scoreless game, surprisingly. Gary Sutherland up. 5-6. That's a that's a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is still well, and he's a three. And that's a six. That's gonna be an out. So Sutherland is out. Brings up Tom Verizer. He gets a 1-4. That's a ground ball pitcher B. So he's out. And Aurelio Rodriguez comes up and he gets a 1-7, which is a single. So they have a base runner, but with two outs. And if history is any indicator, at least the short history of this series so far, they're not going to bring that runner around. But Danny Myers up and he gets a 3-4 which is a pop-out to first base. And they don't bring the runner around. And we, in fact, go to the bottom of the fifth. Still scoreless. Kansas City has not been able to score against Mickey Lolich. Lolich, of course, was 12-18, and 18, but with a 377 earned run average. So maybe he had a losing record because of this offense. Who knows? But anyway, Frank White is up. And he gets a 4-6, which is a line out to shortstop, one away. That brings up Kurt Stillwell. He gets a 5-12, which is a walk. Fancy seeing a walk there. So that's the first walk of the game issued by Lolich with one on and one out. Willie Wilson up and he gets a 1-7, which is a pop out to short, two away. And up steps Jim Eisenreich and he gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman is Sud Gary Sutherland and he's a three at second. That is a 20, probably, I'm going to say it's a roll again maybe. Yes, it is. Roll 20-sider again. That's a 19. That's a roll again. And that's a 10 and 3. And that's a one base error. Sutherland makes the error after, on the third roll of the 20-sider. Eisenreich aboard with the error. Sutherland making the error. And now Kansas City has their biggest threat of the game. With George Brett up, but with two outs. And he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. So, despite threatening, they don't score any runs again. And we go to the top of the sixth. This is really... Uh, the, the Detroit Tigers are going to kick themselves if they don't win this game. Because this was going to go down as a winnable game. Uh, barring uh, an exploding inning by Kansas City, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards for them. So Bill Freehand is up. He gets a 4-11. That's a strikeout. One away. Fourth strikeout for Gubaza. Ron LaFleur up. He gets a 5-10, which is a fly ball to center. That's Willie Wilson. He's a 2 that's a 20 and 2, probably a roll again, that would be my guess. No, it's an out. 
Yes, it's an out. So the floor is out. And with two down, that brings up Rob, um, Leon Roberts. And he gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball to second base, and he's out. No runs in the sixth for Detroit. Bo Jackson up against Mickey Lolich, and he gets a 210, which is a walk. And I think Bo Jackson, yes, he can steal. And you would think they have to try it. He's an A stealing, even though everybody's been thrown out. And he's 18, he's thrown out as well, again. But they had to try it because they can't get anything going on Lolich. So Bo Jackson caught stealing. Kevin Elka sights her up. He gets a 4-7, which is a fly ball to center to away. And up steps Danny Tartable. And Tartable gets a 6-7, which is a single. Tartable with a hit. They might have had something going, but then again, and there still probably would have been, there still would have been two outs. So just with runners at first and second. And Bob Boone is up. And that's a 5-9, which is a shortstop. The shortstop's a 3. That's an 8. Probably going to be an out. That would be my guess. And he is. And so, Bob Boone is, is out. We go to the top of the 7th. Top of the 7th, no score here between the 1989 Kansas City Royals and the 1975 Detroit Tigers. Ben Ogilvy up for the Tigers. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. One away. And in case you're wondering, Lolich with 241 innings would seriously be good to go at least nine innings. And um, Bubiza with 255 also would be. Willie Horton up. He gets a 111. That's a line out to third base. Two away. Both pitchers pitching shutouts. And Sutherland comes up. He gets a 111. That's a pop out to short. No runs in the seventh for Detroit. Again, like I said, they're really going to kick themselves if they can't bring home this win in game one of this series. Frank White comes up. He gets a 1-3. That's a pop-out plus injury. Pop-out to short in case you're scoring. And he is only temporarily injured and will remain in the game. One away. Frank White out. Stillwell comes up. That's a 210. That's going to be a double one to 13 or a single. And that is going to be a double. So Stillwell rips a double, a one out double. Sixth hit allowed for Lolich. Willie Wilson up. That's a 1 4, which is a ground ball first base. Two away. And that leaves it up to Eisenreich to try to get this run in. And that's a 6-8. And that's a fly ball to right. And Eisenreich can't do it. No runs for Kansas City in the bottom of the 7th. We go to the top of the 8th. Again, in a scoreless game between the very, very bad 1975 Detroit Tigers and the very good 1989 Kansas City Royals. Tom Verizer up. He gets a strikeout. Sixth strikeout for Gubiza. Aurelio Rodriguez gets a 3-5, which is a ground ball to shortstop. And that brings up Dan Meyer. And he gets a 3-2, pop out to second plus injury. And that's an 11. I believe that is a one game injury. Let's see. 11 is injured for two games. So Dan Meyer will be leaving the game. And he was playing first base. So we will have to get a replacement first baseman. And that will be, for right now, that'll be Jack Pierce. 
I'm sure we'll be seeing Jack Pierce since nobody can score. And we go to the bottom of the eighth, Kansas City up, George Brett. And he gets a 111, which is a pop out to second plus injury. And that's a six. And that's going to be a one game injury. So let's see. Brett will have to come out of the game. And we'll put in Pat Tabler for him. So Brett is out. I had to get this over here too. Okay, I did. All right. Bo Jackson up with one away. 6-5 is a double. So Jackson, Bo Jackson, ripping a double. Seventh hit allowed for Lolich. And Kevin Elka sights are up. He gets a 5-3. That is a first base X. The first baseman is now the uh, replacement guy that came in. And he's a 4. That's a 15 and a 4. 15 and 4 is a one base error. So I have to... I didn't have his name written down, but now i got to have his name written down because he just made an error. Uh, let's see here. It is Jack Pierce that made that error. First base four. And an error. And that moves runners to the corners. And was that Seitzer that was on by that air? I believe so, yes. Yes. So I'm caught up here. Danny Tartable's up. They're going to play for the double play because they've got no choice. They're not going to get a, a, you know, two runs. So 6-11 is a ground ball C, and that does score the run. It wouldn't have um, if the infield had been in. But it wasn't, so they do get the uh, RBI, and that's an unearned run for Lolich. And Bob Boone is up, 5-7. That's a ground ball second base. Second is a 3. That is a 7. Looks like that's going to be an out. And that is 2 away. Bob Boone making the out. Frank White up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball shortstop. So, Frank White ends the inning, but they get one run. And so now we're in the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth. And the Tigers need at least a run to keep this game going. Two to go ahead. And Freehand, Bill Freehand's up. He gets a line out into as many outs as possible on 2-2. Two -two. Ron LaFleur is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a ground ball second base X. The second baseman is Frank White, and he is a 1. And that's a 16. I believe that's an out. I think the error is on 17, and it is. That's two away. LaFleur out. And that brings up Leon Robertson. He gets a 3-11, which is a single. He keeps it going for Detroit. Keeps them alive. Gooby's out with only his fourth hit allowed. It's actually fifth. And Ben Ogilvy is up. He gets a 6-5, which is a fly ball, and that is the game. And this was really a nail-biter here. Detroit loses the first game. As bad as they are, they lose it only 1-0 to the Detroit Tigers. Lolich gets the undeserved loss by going nine, giving up seven hits and striking out five with no earned runs allowed, but the one run came in on uh, because of an error in an inning. And Gubiza pitches nine innings, allows only five hits, strikes out six, allows no earned runs, and gets the win. And that is it for game one. 
between the 75 Tigers and the 89 Royals.